Let's go. Hello, what's up, peeps? This is the Geek Artist, and on today's tutorial, I'll be sharing five tips to paint faster in Photoshop. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And don't forget to watch this video till the end. Now, as the title suggests, this won't be a technical video where I share tips to be faster in Photoshop in general. This will strictly focus on being faster at painting in Photoshop. And there's no easier way of saying this. You've probably heard this many times before. The key is to practice. Lots and lots of practice. There's no secret magic formula. So the purpose of this video is to share 5 simple techniques or exercises you can easily practice on a regular basis to see a great improvement in your painting speed. Number 1. Speed painting without line art. To gain confidence about composition, shape, colors and lighting. A lot of beginner artists are way too dependent on line art and spend too much time on the stage. And once you finalize the line art, you limit yourself by feeling this need to stick to that line art strictly. You're afraid to try other design possibilities later on while coloring and rendering it. So try to paint in colors directly and don't spend too much time perfecting the edges as a practice. Number 2. If you are going to use line art for a stylistic reason, a great way to save time here in the long run is to practice drawing confident strokes and keep using undo or control Z to go a step back until you get that perfect clean stroke. Number 3. Easily paint light and shadow using blending modes instead of manually picking darker and lighter shades of colors to paint them. The technique I use for shadows is I use multiply blending mode and paint all the shadows with a medium gray color. Once I'm happy with the values, I change the color of the shadow to make the scene more vibrant. And for the lights, I use a bright whitish yellow and then I use overlay blending mode to paint the lights. Number 4. Stop over focusing on details. Always remember, details are not what makes your art stand out or catch attention. Pay more attention to design, composition, colors, and lights because these are what determine if your painting will look beautiful at a quick glance. A great way to practice this is by not zooming in too much. Once you zoom in, you tend to add details. So try painting with the full canvas in view. And finally, number 5. Use references. Make a habit of creating reference mood boards before you start to paint something. Once you have an idea in your head, look for similar images and references on the internet, download them, and make a collage. Always keep it open so you can take a look at them for better understanding and lesser chance of making mistakes and wasting time. Using references does not mean cheating. Every seasoned artist uses them. It's a part of the process and it's highly recommended. That way you're stuck much less often saving valuable time and over time you start developing ideas of how things should look and you get more confident about your art. You have a more clearer mental picture of exactly what you need to paint and what's the best approach. And finally a bonus tip, shortcuts. I understand that this might scare a lot of beginner artists since it requires some memorizing but you don't need to memorize every single shortcut that the software has. You just need to know a handful of them if you really want to be much faster and efficient in digital art. So I really recommend that you try to use them more often, practice and make a habit and you'll end up memorizing them easily in no time. So I'm listing out a few of the more important ones that will come really really handy. So you can pause this screen or take a screenshot on your phone and keep it close so you can easily refer to it while creating art. I promise you that smart usage of these shortcuts will make your overall art process and workflow much much faster and more efficient. So those were my 5 tips to paint faster in Photoshop. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe and comment if you have any questions or video suggestions. Your support and feedback is greatly appreciated. So until next time, peace.